Back again. Okay. So we've done the outside. We've done the burnings. We haven't done any sanding at all yet. But very smooth. Quite happy with how this is turning out. Inside, I don't know if you can see it from there. You can see a bit of a ridge there. And you can see a few little ridgy, ridgy bits inside there. Down the bottom, still got a little bit of a dot in the bottom and stuff like that. Um, so, what I'm going to do... Oh, I know one up a bit too tight. Bring this around. And all I do is I'm going to bring in... I do it with a skew. I did start with a different chisel, but I like the skew now. And basically just come in from an angle like that and just make it like a nice curvature so you get that nice little spill out. You don't want it too sharp. We've made a couple of ones with a sharp edge on. It doesn't feel too nice. So you want to get rid of that sharp edge and just make it like a nice little roll. So I'll show you how I do that. As I turn that, it changes the angle going from that sort of an angle as you do that. So it makes it more rounded, so that's already taken that sharp edge off. And then with the back of the heel, about the same point. Just roll it in like that. Make it nice and round, nice little lumpy bit there, but there was that feature sitting there. I don't want to take him off too much, but I also don't want him to be rough. Alright, then I go down deep inside there, just to take it nice and smooth. As you see at the bottom, I get down towards the bottom there, it starts to get a bit jumpy. It's because you're hitting the end grain, because we're working on an end grain here. And it starts biting in, because you're only biting it with a tiny piece of this chisel here. So every little bit of end grain starts chattering around on it. So I swap back over to this big bowl gouge. I've got a smaller one over there, but I quite like the big one. I'll drop this rest down a fair bit, out of my way. So I can get a nice angle on it. is you can't get right over to the edge because this will start touching the edge of the cup. So I do most of it with that one, then I come in with my little one and just do the little edge bit here. Just to finish off. Alright. Now, a quick fill there. You can still feel a little bit of a ledge there, so I'll just come back around with the skew back in here again to give that a nice clean up. And then we're going to be basically down to sandpaper already. Although this one's quite a nice little cut, this. So yet again with the heel. So you can take as much as you like without dive going in too deep. If you come around, sorry, I'll put it up that way for you. As it comes around on the round thing, you can see it's coming off. But if you use the point, it wants to bite in. 
so this has more chance of fighting in and taking off wood that you don't want so when I use that I use this as a heel and go around like that just to make it a lot easier without making mistakes it just takes off less wood but hey See if I'm happy with that. Still got quite a thick wall there. So I think that'll be nice and warm. That'll stay nice and warm. So that there is making it nice and smooth, even how you want it. So from there it becomes the cleanup, the exciting part. Which I have up here sandpaper. Now, when it comes to the inside here, your fingers are always the best thing because you can actually feel what you're doing, but you get quite hot in there and it burns your fingers and stuff like that. So I use balsa wood because balsa wood and um, the other stuff I've got here, I can't, the name escapes me at the moment. Um, I think it's camphor, I think it is. Uh, you can actually use them for polishing. So the balsa wood is actually quite good. You can actually use that straight on there. And I'll actually start polishing it up. It's gonna struggle because that's so coarse, but I can see it shine in there already. So, using the sandpaper. I can do this quite nicely and feel what I'm doing, but that's already getting hot on my finger. So what I use is one of these, like that. Actually sit in there, get a general feel for what it is on the tip, but that tends to wear that away. So I stick a little bit through, so I can feel with the bolter, and then use the paperboard to do the actual sanding. Just a little bit on the outside. I don't need a lot on this cup because it come off the tool quite well. So I'm just using. I've got a lot coarser than this, but I'm just using the uh, 120 at the moment just to give it a quick rub down, get everything all level. And the balsa wood helps to keep it nice and even all the way through. get down the bottom, I just let it go over the edge, give it a fold, and then roll it up a bit smaller. I hope you can hear me mumbling away down here. I have listened to a couple of the videos now and they do sound okay, so we'll see how we go. I don't need to go too crazy on the bottom because they get quite a big coating of the resin over the top. So any sort of little slight imperfections all disappear and you don't really see them at all. I used to sit there for ages sanding it all up. I do give it a good sand but I don't sit there and get it pristine like I do the outside. I have to admit, working with that resin is quite good because I've not worked with it before and I just thought I'd give it a go. And it's quite satisfying to work with. Reasonably easy to work with. But the um, only drawback I have is my whole workshop is one. So I have the uh, dust, as you can see, hopefully, um, sort of in the same area as we do the resin but the resin has its own area which has all got its own plastic covering over it but it's not perfect so but then again nothing I make is perfect and that's my whole motto it's not meant to be perfect so that's basically it with the 120 then we're going to go through all the grits all the way through up to the uh, so we'll go 180 then I'll go a thousand and then I'll go two thousand and that'll be it that's all I need. I don't even need really to go to 2000, but it depends. 
at the moment it's looking pretty bloody lovely if we uh, stop that down as you can see that's smooth as all the way through we've got some beautiful little features in the bottom down there which I'll blow out with the air and show you that when we start doing the resin but at the moment that there is look like that's smoothing it up see you next time